All right, so if you're ever uh, shipping something out, this is how you do it. You uh, load it up and then you put a thank you for a killer order. Oh man, I'm excited to show you what we got from Von Berg Studios. It's your guy, Kent Poole Collects. We got a work in progress. Come join me, see what we put together, see the parts we got next. Kent Poole Collects. <laughs> black getting started on our vampire hunter if you are following on instagram i sent out a little picture of what the pauldrons and head sculpt looked like on the body go check out kent pool collects on instagram so this is the first of the figures that we are starting off with I'm trying to use this body that uh, pretty well put together so just kind of working on painting our head sculpt working on painting our pauldrons I'm pretty happy with uh, the chaos black I think that's gonna go pretty well it's just gonna be kind of taking our time hitting some of the details on the piece should be fun and here's uh, I don't know if I showed you but there's the original print of the pauldrons yeah Von Berg Studios and again I'm excited very cool head sculpt here that out a lot of fun so my initial thought is trying to paint the face and kind of working outward to the uh, mask just because your like higher areas which the mask kind of sits out from the rest of the face so believe it's going to be easier to kind of work inside with the face and then if we need to make touch-ups and stuff we can touch up on uh, on the way out and away from the piece but uh, stay tuned definitely a work in progress little update uh, I decided to go ahead and hit the rest of the head sculpt with our chaos black uh, i just think the benefits on the mask uh not all the time do i do like a prime coat uh just kind of depends on what i'm working with but uh, i decided to hit the entire thing mainly because I love the Chaos Black, but uh, we'll see. I think we'll still get the results I'm looking for on the head sculpt, even with the black primer. Just kind of like another step, another coat, but I think where we'll really see the benefits is on the mask. I did do a second spray of the pauldrons, mostly to get uh, a darker undercoat because I didn't want any of the original mold color uh, resin color print color to be appearing under the pauldron just uh, you know you might get into a weird picture angle where maybe it's showing up so just wanted to give that like a nice uh, little under layer so sprayed the pauldrons twice head once uh stay tuned to see what's next all right very happy with how our chaos black 
pattern was taken. So I am going to start on the skin tone. We're going to use a layer. So I got uh, my medium layer brush here and I want to use this uh, Blood Reaver Flesh. I think this is uh, going to be a good skin tone. Shake that up a little bit. I know probably most people don't go as thick as I do with uh, the paint. Kind of get it down in layer. But I am just going to get a little bit there. And I used a little bit of blue tack to keep this on. And we're going to start just kind of spreading this out. And I think this is going to take probably a few layers even with as thick as I'm applying it. So I'm just trying to avoid the mask and whatnot. It does have those like little dots, which I kind of take as uh, Kind of like middle pieces, almost like, almost like staples. Maybe holding the uh, head together. So I am at the moment going to paint over those because I do want the skin tone to, uh, kind of show up and we'll paint over them eventually with more of a metal kind of look to them. One thing I feel like I've learned from painting is I try to look at the piece from uh, different angles and see if there's like different directions and angles where I can get a better addition of paint or if I didn't quite hit as much paint as uh, I need or want. But uh, so far, I feel like this is going on fairly well. Like I said, probably a little thicker than uh, maybe most people paint. It's not a bad idea to uh, you know, use like a palette or something and try to not go as thick as I'm painting right now. But that's just kind of how I paint. And there'll be times where I know I don't need as much paint, so then I do use that proper technique. Okay, so here's a fun little spot. Like, do I make this skin tone inside of it? Or does the strap go all the way through? I might have to look at images of that before I decide how I want to paint that. Like, is this a piece and then in between is more skin, more of uh, the skin tone. 
But uh, y'all have to let me know how uh, how this is translating on being recorded. Clearly, I'm trying to give y'all just an idea of how it's taking and how we're starting. But uh, the goal, kind of painting all of the flesh this time of round. And then uh, we'll look at some of the other details and uh, maybe how we can add to uh, the head sculpt and the look. All right, so I added a uh, little bit of white to the eye area. This is our little white scar. I think that uh, seem appropriate, you know, little scars going on. Don't need those paints. So, yeah, you can see I am not the best at the eyes but luckily we're gonna start our second layer of our skin tone and i'm gonna try to go not too heavy this time this is just gonna be trying to touch up a few spots like the eyes because I don't need all of that white and we just want to make sure like you can see there's some areas that are still pretty black from the primer so using our layer brush again and I like to use bigger surfaces just to kind of see how the paint is going on before I kind of tackle and go into some smaller spots like around those eyes for example Trying just to <clears throat> capture a little bit and the dogs are running crazy. Just trying to take little strokes so I don't uh, completely cover up those eyes again. Keep working away at this guy. All right, so we got our two coats. Feel better about the eyes. They're not perfect, but I think they look a lot better. I think. Uh, Got some pretty good paint. You can see like the ears there. We'll touch up around the mask. So pretty happy with where we're at with the head sculpt. Now I'm ready for this shade. We're gonna use on the figure. 
And then I might have to come back and do one more coat of our skin tone. But we got our shade here. And I got a medium shade brush. So let's see how, uh, how this applies. Now this is one where I'm gonna use my surface a little bit because I wanna try to make sure I'm not getting too much on the brush and we're going to start down below again a lot of times is in larger surfaces just to kind of see how the shade is uh kind of taking and with the shade want a pretty good layer but nothing you know don't want it to be too thick you don't want it to kind of look like a puddle just kind of given a little layer to uh, the skin, so we just want to make sure that it's not uh, just kind of sitting there. Right, you can see getting what I would say little more of a texture of the skin and I think this will bring out a few of the details but let me uh, finish applying this and then we'll take a look all right so I thought uh, give you a little different angle here and uh, as of right now i am pretty happy we'll see how the shade kind of dries but i think we are getting the character the look i was going for it might be a minute before i get back on this guy i do need to get uh some like black and some other paints to uh, kind of finish up the mask. So we'll see, get back to this guy and keep working away on our vampire hunter. Definitely a uh, work in progress here on the channel. Hello there and welcome back. It's your guy, just uh, wanted to stop by, say hi talk about a couple of things here on this fun day hopefully you enjoyed part two of our von burke studios got some cool things going on with those pieces so hopefully you're having some fun seeing me work on that doing some more painting and whatnot so hopefully you're enjoying it and seeing some cool things and trying to take my time and work through the pieces and hit a little paint still got more to go on that head sculpt so stay tuned plus more pieces from that box so i'm pretty excited to continue working on that little work in progress video update if you would 
Uh, some really cool stuff happened this past week. Uh, how about Facebook Cabal Four Horsemen fan group uh, did a little fundraiser. It's been going on for a little bit now, but Toys for Tots raised 7K. That is awesome. Uh, just a great community. There were items, giveaways, and a lot going on. But at the end of the day, uh, the base amount being 7K, and then our awesome, awesome guy, Colin, doing an entertaining giveaway and uh, looking forward to them taking that 7K, finding some deals, still getting some awesome, awesome, desirable things for the tots, but uh, kind of stretching and getting some of that value. So even more at the end of the day, that uh, 7K plus more, that is fantastic. I wanna say 3K last year, I think the goal was somewhere around five. So to knock out seven, congrats to everybody that is part of the Cabal. You can find the Cabal on Facebook. You can find the Cabal on Instagram. There's the Mythic Legions Cabal, Cosmic Cabal, Figure Obscure Cabal, and then all kinds of subgroups and Basically, all of those communities coming together to raise that money, which is fantastic. So good. Colin, awesome job. Wolf King Customs, awesome job with uh, donating some different prizes and everything as part of a giveaway, plus some awesome artists put uh, work into the giveaway. And a lot of other people contributed to either the giveaway or getting things for Toys for Tots, which is awesome, awesome. Stay tuned. More videos coming. Uh, I've been dropping the figure a day in December. That is part of the YouTube shorts. So make sure you're checking those out. Some of the favorite figures that I picked up over the year. 31, one for each day in December. So really proud of that. And uh, hopefully you're enjoying those videos. If you didn't know those videos exist, go check them out here on the YouTube. I hope everybody had a great week. Hope you're going to have a great weekend. Uh, it's so much fun sharing things with you all. And uh, if you have ideas for future projects or you want to see something that uh, I'm currently working on, let me know in the comments. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you to all of our channel members. Y'all are too kind. Jumping in, being part of the... Uh, the whole experience and uh, channel members. I really appreciate it. Until next time, always be hunting. If you can't be hunting, have fun collecting.